Yeah, of course, absolutely. That's the you know that's the the main objective. It always is to win football games, and you know recently we've had the performances without getting the results, and maybe today it was a little bit more of less of a performance, but more of a result. So pleasing to win, as you say, it's been a few weeks, so um, it's nice to get back on the winning trail, and you know definitely aspects we can improve on, but ultimately three points. Just how pleasing was it to see that first goal go in from Nico Kranjkar? It seemed to take a a bit of the pressure off the shoulders, if you like. Yeah, it's, you know. We haven't scored first enough in games, and you know the longer the game went on, you're you know you're just hoping for that goal to come so we can get ahead and we can build on that. It's been too often that we've been chasing the game, so it was nice for us to get ahead. A great bit of quality from Nico, which we all know he has, and um, his execution was great. And it was it was very pleasing, and I think a relief to everyone here. I suppose there's times in games where you need that little moment of of magic, and that, that was certainly the case from Nico. As you say, it was a, it was a terrific finish. Gave the keeper no chance. I agree. You know, a lot of people have said you just need a little bit of luck, but I think we're, we're better relying on a little bit of quality, and that's what we got there. Nico brings that in abundance, and um, it, it was a great goal, a great time for us. Do you think it does lift that that bit of pressure off the shoulders? If you like, so it may be in the Queen of the South game as well. I think the first goal was was very similar in terms of the timing of it. Well, we've not scored enough for the first goals in the games. You know, I think that's. Quite clear for anyone that you know looks at the results. It's it's difficult when you go behind in a game to actually, you know, address that and get back into the game. So today, to be ahead, which we, as I said we haven't done enough, was was pleasing, and we built on that. And we got the second relatively quickly after that, and we had a platform to build on that in the second half. We didn't probably do as well as we would have liked to have done in the second half, but as I said, two 0 up and not bad result. Great to see Andy Halliday get that second goal just before half time. His third goal in three consecutive games from that holding midfield role and he's playing very well for the team just now. He is, yeah. Andy's um, obviously brings a lot to the team. His enthusiasm, his energy but he's, he's also got a lot of quality and it's important that we don't underestimate that. He's a very important player for us in that position and you know, ultimately that's not his job but it's a, it's a nice thing to add to your game. He certainly seems to find those positions, those pockets of space where he can he can get goals, and that, that's something that seems to come naturally to him. He does, yeah. He's obviously played further up the pitch in his career, so he's got that attribute within his game, and he's very composed when he gets chances, and you know he's got a lovely left foot, and you know today was another example of that. Obviously, in the second half, Rangers went for the third goal, didn't get it, but I suppose a bit of credit has to go to Patrick Tishel, especially in the first half an hour. They, they put Rangers under pressure and asked a few questions. Yeah, they do. Every team in this league does. You know, it's, it's a difficult league. You know, the league gets a lot of criticism and people, you know, talk about the standard and the level, but anybody that's played up here realises how difficult it is and how difficult teams make it for you. So, you know, Patrick Thistle were exactly the same today. It made it difficult for us, worked hard, were well organised and you know played on the counter-attack so we had to manage that and as well as obviously try to score a goal at the other end. You made three changes to the team today, uh, one of the players that came in was, was Philip Senderos, made the second appearance for the club, were you pleased with his uh, contribution today? Absolutely, it's difficult coming into the team, Clint Hill's been ill the last couple of days so Philippe has stepped in and I thought he did well, you know it's difficult, he hasn't played a lot of football recently but he's very experienced, very composed and, and he brings a calmness to the team so um, I think he was a good Swap for Clint, you know, bring add an experience and you know that we'd lost through Clint. So I think it, it turned out to be a good choice and you know Philippe had a good day, a clean sheet and you know I'm sure he'll be a bit stiff tonight, but he'll he'll enjoy that. And in terms of getting the results, good for good for the confidence, especially going into an international break. Yeah, it's always important to go into that break. You know that that couple of weeks with the result, things you know we can work on within that period of time, which will be important for us. We've got to be better. I think we all know that, but. It's nice to go in and, and enjoy the result. And just away from the, the pitch, of course, we're hearing just now that there's been a, a bus crash with uh, 18 Rangers fans involved in, in Ayrshire. I'm sure your thoughts are with ev everyone involved just now. Yeah, terrible news. We don't obviously don't know all the details, and I think it'd be unwise to comment, you know, too much on that. But our thoughts are with, you know, the people that are involved and their families that are involved. And I'm sure the club, you know, will be very supportive in regards to that as, you know, as we get more details.